A lot of us may be contemplating our waistlines after a holiday season of eating and drinking a bit too much, and likely a trip to the gym is next. While you're thinking about your own shape, a man named Nerio Alessandri is thinking about the shape of the gym equipment, trying to make it sleeker and sexier. His company is called Techno Gym. It's one of Italy's most visible and successful. Alessandri says they produce the Ferrari of fitness, but that's not enough for this audacious entrepreneur. He wants to change the way we all live. Wow. This is the way Nerio Alessandri lives. It's spectacular. The opulent Palazzo Romagnoli was a papal palace in the 1700s. Now it's home and headquarters for his 21st century crusade. 2,000 years ago, during the Roman era, they combined the gym, gymnastic, movement, sports, with art, culture, lifestyle. Gym with art, culture, and lifestyle. Exactly. Mixing that. Now we would like to replicate, we would like to relaunch, refresh. As you might expect, no treadmill in the garage for this self-described pioneer of wellness. Is the my personal home gym. It's what's in the basement of the Palazzo that pays the bills, a sampling of the more than 200 types of techno gym equipment he's created. Treadmills, ellipticals, strength machines, spin bikes. 300 years ago, it was a wine cellar. Lots of companies make workout equipment, but Alessandri says nobody else has techno gym's combination of technological wizardry and sleek design. He sees his machines as pieces of art, this one's called Kinesis. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Very, very natural. It's natural movement. It's functional training because you involve everything. It's strength, it's resistance, flexibility, stability. In America, you're most likely to find techno gym equipment in high end gyms and hotels. 40 million people in 100 countries use its machines every day. Most come from this place, which looks like something dropped from a spaceship into a field outside the town of Cesena. It's called the Technogym Village. In back is a sprawling factory where 500 workers on eight lines assemble by hand and then test drive hundreds of machines a day. In front, another 500 office workers run the company. And in front of that is what may be the nicest workplace gym in the world, the wellness center. The best wellness evangelist is our employee. Where factory and office workers alike are encouraged to, what else, work out every day. These employees choose a spin class. These Techno Gym's latest innovation, a curved self-powered treadmill called Skill Mill, wow. which allows everyday athletes to build power, speed, agility, and stamina. You're all at work right now. Yeah, exactly. yeah, sure. The whole place has the feel of a Silicon Valley tech company, right down to a heavily subsidized lunch for every employee. Healthy choices only, of course. You have organic food, you've spent time and money working on the design. Is there any way to tell if it helps your bottom line? We, for us, it's not the cost. For us, it's the investment. But this is a business. It has to make sense. Is, isn't this expensive okay. to do? Which is the first priority of the company? It's creativity. Creativity without healthy people, without happiness, is very difficult. And you think that nice lighting and organic food is, is part of that? Yes, because it's the balance. Training happiness, our goal is training happiness. As long as happiness doesn't include having a cookie with your lunch, not available. Encouragement to keep moving is everywhere. Elevator doors tell people to take the stairs instead. Factory break areas are equipped with exercise bikes. And when people do have to sit down, Alessandri insists that they use exercise balls rather than chairs, including interviewers. Tell me about this guy. <laughs> He's Nerio. <laughs> He's Nerio. He's you. Ah, yes. Uh, this picture is a perfect image about the, my profile because uh, I am the builder. All of us 
knew that Nerio should do something great. You thought he'd do something great. I don't know great. what, but something great. Marzia Bartolucci is Alessandri's cousin and has worked with him for more than 30 years. They grew up together in a poor farming family. I can assure that Nerio has, uh, has uh, started with nothing, nothing. Though he got a degree in engineering, Alessandri's first dream was to become a fashion designer. And when I was 20 years old, I sent it to Mr. Armani the CV. You sent your CV, your resume to Armani and said, what, hire me? Yes, yes, but why not? It's think big, eh? it's think big. You yeah. always think big. <laughs> always. And, but I don't receive the answer. Okay, and uh, the, my dream is to continue. Okay, why not uh, from fashion designer to fitness designer? That seems like a huge departure. Fashion to fitness? Yes, but the occasion is it was that I went in the local gym in Cesena. I realized that is very poor equipment, very ugly, very bad uh, equipment. Uh, you walked into this local gym and you were not impressed by what you saw, so you said, I can do this better? Yes, it's good, exactly. It's the, my life. At the age of just 22, he designed and built his first machine in his parents' garage, a lower body development device called a hack squat, then sold it to that local gym. Today it occupies a prime spot in what he calls the innovation gallery. This is where it all started. Is the baby, the first baby. <laughs> In the U.S., a young man with a big idea could have turned to venture capitalists. That culture didn't exist in Italy. So Alessandri contacted a childhood friend, Maurizio Placuzzi. I was living in Los Angeles. Then he wrote me a letter. said, uh, I think it will build some bodybuilding machines. I looked in the dictionary. What bodybuilding is? And you never heard of it? No. California's Venice Beach and a few nearby gyms had long been the center of the bodybuilding culture in America. Bacuzzi sent photographs and magazines back to Alessandri and then organized a month-long research trip to the U.S. On that trip to America, you took 52 flights in 25 days? <laughs> yes, uh, day and night. During the trip, we learned a lot about bodybuilding. But then uh, when we landed, he was thinking about fitness the next step. What do you mean? But not only muscles, but also health, uh, looking good. That foresight, envisioning that there would be a mass market for fitness many times larger than just the small niche of muscle men, would wind up launching Techno Gym from garage to global. This is 1983. 1983, you created this. In 1986, uh, the first home product. Technogym has had a lot of firsts. The first treadmill with a heart rate monitor, the first with built-in TVs. Along the way, Alessandri signed celebrity endorsers and became the official supplier of fitness equipment at the Olympics. He is becoming a rather epic figure. Vittorio Giroli is a consultant who advises Italian companies, including Technogym. There are a few epic figures of Italian entrepreneurship in so Ferrari redefined what sports cars were in fashion, Varmani redefining what is a comfortable business suit for men, women. You're putting Technogym in the category of companies like Ferrari and Armani? Oh, in wellness, yes. And just like those other Italian brands, Technogym charges a premium price. How expensive is this? No, it's not expensive in terms of uh, value added. But, but how expensive is it? Okay, more or less $7,000. Uh, $7,000 for this. It's not cheap. It's the, right, uh, it's the right price. It's a price a lot are willing to pay because according to Alessandri, they want to sweat in style. It's like Apple. Apple is not the telephone. Apple is the experience. Uh, is the design, technology, lifestyle, is not only the mobile to call um, friends, but is also the lifestyle. It's technically the same. That audacity may be best summed up with the word Nerio Alessandri invented, imbestio. It's his mantra, and he preaches it with the zeal of a tent revival evangelist. This word imbestio, <laughs> it's yours? 
<laughs> you invented a word too? Exactly. So, uh, we invented wellness uh, 25 years ago, concept, uh, but also in bestio. Means curiosity, means uh, energy, means uh, stay hungry. That stay hungry spirit has driven Techno Gym's revenue above $500 million a year and a nearly 10% annual growth rate. The company went public on the Milan Stock Exchange last spring. Alessandri and his brother Pierluigi still own a majority of the shares. Nerio is not measuring his legacy by the stock price, but by how well he can spread his gospel of wellness to the whole world. The people, they take a lot of risk in terms of sedentary, in terms of bad nutrition, smoke, alcohol, stress, obesity issue is an incredible issue. We have many risks. It's not sustainable. We need to do something. That something, in his mind, is to turn his home region of Romagna into a laboratory and then a beacon of healthy living. And I shared with all the stakeholders in Cesena, in the my city, the project to create the first wellness valley in the world. The wellness valley is announced on highway signs leading into Cesena. It encompasses more than a million residents living in hill towns ringed by lush vineyards and fruit orchards and beach resort towns along the Adriatic Sea. We spread around the community many different programs and many different uh, solutions to improve quality of life. You want people to move more? More active. Alessandri and his foundation sponsor or support hundreds of initiatives in the Wellness Valley. Kids take the human school bus, walking rather than riding. Health fairs have free spin classes that put the biggest soul cycle gym to shame. A hundred people walked on an organized evening stroll through Chisena's main square. And hardcore mountain bikers bounced down cobblestone steps at night. We collect data and we measure that the people are 10% more active than the Italian average movement. But that still leaves a lot of people indulging, exercising their right to la dolce vita. You've never heard of the Wellness Valley? La Valle del... Wellness. No. The Wellness Valley. No. There's a lot of work to be done. Exactly. When I was in the garage, my market space is like this. Today is like this. Tomorrow is like that. But the approach is the same. Uno, due, tre, vai. He's undaunted by the enormity of the task getting the entire world to get moving and adopt wellness. So if you're not yet a convert, watch out. Nerio Alessandri is coming for you.